This is a supplemental, not a demo. See nightinthewoods.com for more info. Hello everyone, welcome back to Slug Lady Plays, and welcome to Longest Night Lost Constellation, the second Night in the Woods supplemental. So this, this is the one I'm really excited about. It, I think it's a little bit longer than uh, Longest Night, which I have already played, and it involves folklore and new characters. So, let's just jump in. Oh. Okay, this is diff different. Interact, throw, rotate, jump. Press interact to continue. Ooh. We get to rotate stuff. Oh! Oh my gosh! Is that ti is that supposed to be Tiny May and her grandpa? That's adorable. I'm gonna rob a bank. <laughs> you want to spend longest night in jail? Gonna rob them to death. They'll never catch me. There'll be time enough when you're older for felonies in jail. What's a felony? A bad thing they put you in jail for. Not if they don't catch me. Okay, how about a story before bedtime? A longest night story! Sure. But not a dumb one like Charity Barity. Oh, Charity Barity. How about a ghost story? Ooh, yeah! All right, then. I hope lots of people die in it. Quiet, kid. I'm starting over here. Long ago in the hills. <sighs> Far from home here, all right. Could just go back. No. It's been a year, and you made a promise. Get a hold of yourself. You're not gonna die in there tonight. You're, go you're gonna see her again. And come back with a star. We're barely a minute in, and already I'm getting gear walk vibes from this. Gather snowball to interact. Okay. Grab lots of snowballs. Oh my gosh, we have a snowball meter. Keep going. Okay. Something is happening. cat up there. Ooh. Um. Hello, kitty. Can, uh, can we get up to you so we can talk to you? Oh, there we go. Cat. Hey, cat. Do you live in this forest? Nearly enough. Near enough. Can I ask you a question? You're going to die in there tonight. 
Wow, that is unhelpful. Is it? Where are you going tonight or go away, cat? Where are you going tonight? I'm visiting my relations. But first, I'll go to the church. That sounds like your stand is standard longest night. Before church, I'll hunt up a vole and eat it. And before that, I'll watch you walk into the woods to die. And before that, we'll say goodbye. Are you so sure? Well, goodbye. <laughs> what are you... Oh, I see. Goodbye. Can we keep talking to you? Okay. Let's just keep going then. Where did this happen? Back where my grandparents came from. Long before they lived. Did they have longest night back then? They did. What did they call it? Longest night. Oh. <laughs> Tiny May is adorable. I wonder, can you actually go back? Yes, you can. Okay. Is the cat still there? So that means we can go back to those bells, because it certainly seemed, that almost seemed like a puzzle. But I, I could have sworn I heard something roar at the end of that song that it, they made. Oh, his hat comes up. Oh, what's this? That is an arm. What is with this game in arms? Oh. Okay, that's a good omen, I'm sure. Crap almighty. Hey, skeleton. Hey, skeleton. Nope. Looking around for anything else we can interact with. Oops. Hello? Hello! Interested in a coffin? Ah. Uh, in the short term? In the long run? Let's try the long run. These are hard times. The days are short and the nights are long. And the winters last forever. Meaning... Meaning you have a bright future in being a lump in a snowbank. So head west. West is home. Well, east is where I'm going, so... The trees here move. They'll confuse your path. They bend to the powers of the gods of this forest. And you'll never obtain their permission to pass. So this is why you're trying to sell me a coffin. I provide a service. If you pay me now, I will collect your remains and bring them back to your relations. You charge in advance for this. I can't really charge any other time. Oh, right. Well, I, I don't have any money. 
<laughs> no coffin for you then. And your ghost will be quite unhappy. Whatever. <laughs> I don't know what that accent was. I think that was like the bad guys from Rocky and Bullwinkle. Can we go back in? What'd you say about my ghost? Those that die here, stay here. Their ghosts lie frozen until disturbed. Oh. All that's left. All that's left of them are lumps in the snow and things they brought with them. Gathering frost. Oh, what those ghosts could tell us in these hard times. Can I have a drink or something? No. You let the cold in every time you open the door, you know. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Okay. Now I want to go back to that skeleton and see if I can... I, I love the little bounce of his hat. This is awesome. What? Cat? What? Did I pass? Did I pass that arm without even realizing? There we go. Eh, I was hoping I could do something. Okay, so, uh... Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, so I didn't miss the skeleton. The dude was right. Things are, uh, moving. Oh dear. Pilgrim! Hello, you. I am Father Patience Forget- not. Forget not God. Wow, that is a name. It was gifted to me when I was ordained. What was your name before? Butchy Mud. Okay, that's a change. Do you wish to say a prayer at this... the shrine of Saint Oroni? Who, beloved of the forest god, was shown the way to the chasm and the red bell, and into his holy mountain? You said that, all without taking a breath. You want to pray? What is with me giving everyone the, the Rocky and Bullwinkle villain voices? You want to pray or not? Why, well, yes I do. Uh, yeah, sure. You may recite when ready. Um, gracious tree lord, leafy and bark, or exalted bear enthroned above, enchanted deer monster, hoofy at night. Let's try this first. The forest god is no tree. I thought that because, you know, because of the forest. No tree can be a god. I'm not following this line of logic. So what can be a god? Not a tree, obviously. Go, return when you have been granted knowledge. Yeah, I had a feeling. I'm just noticing the trees growing in the background. This is awesome. Can we 
me ask him? Nope, I guess not. All right, let's keep going. Ooh, bit of a slide there. Whoa, what is that? Oh, I'm all out of snowballs. snowman okay so that's enough but I want more uh, rotate there we go let's get some okay that's makes up for completely botching the robot minigame. Oh shoot. What do I have to give him a mouth? Let's see. How about we do this? we go. Beautiful. And you even have eyelashes now. Uh, let's give you some awesome hair. Yeah. Now you look like a punk rocker. And, uh, Awesome. And I can take a picture. Sweet. Okay. Done. <laughs> Looks amazing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> ah. Oh my god. What am I? What's happening? What am I? Help. Are you okay? What am I? You're a snowman? I'm just watering garbage. How are you talking? I don't know what anything... You wouldn't happen to know how to find the forest god, would you? There's nothing about me that isn't forest and sky. It's like a poem. What am I? You're like a poem. Ah! This snowman is no help. Well, if at first you don't succeed, kill it and make a better one. Well, okay, you got that partly right. Which part? Listen up and I'll tell you. So you're what, a ghost? No ghost. Wait, are you no ghost or you have no ghost? What am I? How's it going? What is going? Okay then. What is. <laughs> okay, so, uh. Oh, the, what the fudge was that sound? Oh my gosh, he got up and walked away. Oh, okay, I, s <laughs> I saw that out of the corner there.
I guess we'll come back to that later. Oh! What the heck? board thingy. Alright, so we're gonna give this guy a no uh, some arms. Is that did that move? Nice hair. Give you like a sideways mohawk. And just in case, there's a nice mouth. And a bow on the side. Yes. Just before now, I was dead. And I'm still dead, so there's that. Oh, sorry. Maybe this means I can leave these woods and go wherever dead people go? Is that how that works? I think I was in some sort of daze. And this woke me up. If you want to return the favor, I need some help. I can tell you your fortune, I can contact the dead. I need to find the forest god. I need to get through the woods. Oh, well, the first part's easy enough. Find the shrine and say North's can canticle? And say North's canticle. Uh, I wasn't a churchgoer. Oh, you little heathen. A girl after my own heart. <laughs> oh, we're playing as a girl. Awesome. I thought it was just ropes. Do you know it? In their wings, in their trees. All things die, be at peace. See soul care, they are coming. God of the forest, carry us. And people say that? Several times a day this country. I just gotta turn this volume down just a wee bit. Oh boy. Music's getting super loud all of a sudden. Hmm. Listen, I still have some remnant of my sensitivities. What? If you're lost, I can try to point you in the right direction. Thanks. I mean, are you a ghost? I don't know. Who were you before? I was a fortune teller and a medium. A real one? Real enough. See, I found this thing in a tree and then I knew I had to build you here somehow. In seances, we would often hold an object of importance to the deceased. Did it work? Well enough. As for why here, well... Sometimes a grave is the best place to contact the dead. Oh god, is this your grave? 
Not mine. Appears to be someone's final resting place. Who buries people way out here? The snow. Not to harp on this. And thank you again for your help. But do you know whose body is under you? No idea. I don't think it matters. Just a connection to whatever. Were you, um... Somewhere else until now? I don't know. I don't think so. You don't even seem real. This is like a waking dream. This is weird. Yes, it is. Okay. I'm just gonna walk this way and... You're still here. Okay, so I saw another mound over here. Hopefully the forest hasn't... The forest has totally moved, hasn't it? Holy crap. Wow, okay. I did see a sparkly m mound. Oh, hi. Um. <laughs> Hello? Evening. Oh my gosh, he ate the- Oh. Where is- Oh my god. You ate Father Patience Forget Not God. No, he left. You're wearing his little hat. He gave me his hat. I feel so official. I hate you. Wait, why do you need to hear this? It's not for me or the mouse, it's for the shrine. Hmm. Flutter. In their wings, in their trees. Continue. only a god when I'm in the forest. The forest stretches from the hills below, over the mountains, and up to where they have, a, have to build a bonfire to thaw the earth enough to bury the dead. Wow. God of this forest is god enough. Noted. Okay, um... All things die, be at peace. Continue. Why are you helping me? Who says I'm helping you? I'm just sitting here. With my hat. Go on. Cease all care, they are coming. Continue. Should I be feeling something? Something? Like, is this gonna do something? You don't feel a great sense of awe and wonder and connection to something larger than yourself? No. You're lost. I feel that when I look at the stars. Back in the world, stars are kind of my job. We're still in the world. Still the same stars, too. Okay, let's finish this. Let's. God of the forest, carry us. Very nice. So those snow things are ghosts? Well, they have ghosts in them. Are there... Are there ghosts? What do you think? No, what do you think? Oh, I think sometimes people stay with you long enough after they're gone. Is Grandma a ghost now? <laughs> On the best days, yes. I don't want you to ever be a ghost. Oh, May. I'll be seeing... I'll be around to see your own kids. No, 
you won't. Well, man is not a very nice thing to say. No, I mean I don't ever want kids ever. I want two big woolly barn cats and an old hound dog. And we'll howl at the moon. Never change, May. And she never did. Okay. Um. Oh. So we can go back and forth now. Okay. I just want to check out more of the forest and see if I can find more snowman. I love the effects. Oh. You didn't disappear. Okay. How's it going? What is going? Okay then. I just, I love the effect of the trees moving in the background. That is so cool. Aha! I wonder if I can give this to him. Or her. But maybe I can find another ghost. Let's see how many we can get. Hello, you again. Ooh, more stuff. And now we did a loop. More stuff. Oh, I need to, I need to fill up on ammo. This game could go for a lot longer. Um, we have a lot of stuff. I'm not seeing it. Hello again. Hey, skeleton. Gosh, there is so much stuff hanging out in the trees, and I haven't seen any sparkly snow yet. Ah, here we go, sparkly snow. Okay. So there's nothing I can do here yet? Because I don't... I don't see any other sparkly snow. Hmm. Don't we have an inventory or something? I... Trees are moving. Hey! Any of this junk yours? Got some sparklies. Hmm. So then 
what's with these ones? Hmm. Oh wow, we got lots of stuff. Okay. We got a lock and key. Okay, so we can only choose one of the objects. So let's let's start with the I'm gonna start with the little collar. Give me a mouth. Since it's a collar, let's go for some ears on the side. Make it look like some kind of make you look like I don't know, dog or kitty or something. Oh my gosh, whiskers. That is an that is an awesome idea. Haha. -ha. Okay. <laughs> your color said Clancy. Is that your name? Arf, arf, arf. I hope you don't screw this up for me, Clancy. But I hope soon you'll be able to move on to wherever dead dogs go. Arf. Oh boy, follow my lead. jumped off the cliff. What? No, she didn't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. And I just realized that's another mound right there, so. And there's more. Okay, so the other one's... The other one's basically despawned. get something a little bit more helpful than a dog. Um, a lock and key. bother you, but I need your help. Oh, crap. I died, didn't I? This is so typical. Listen, by bringing you here, I think you'll be able to get out of these woods and do whatever dead people do. Is that something I want? I have no idea. Okay, whatever. Follow my lead. Hello? Hello, traveler. Travelers. 
We seek an audience with the forest god. I am God Tender Brown. Who are you now? I am Empress Astra, and these are my imperial advi- This is my imperial advisor, Ihin. Hey. And my Archbishop, Clancy. Arf! We have traveled long through the night to be here. May we pass through? You have a dog for an Archbishop. He's extremely perceptive. <laughs> I gotta go with this one. That is no dog. Archbishop Clancy speaks the language of beasts. Signs and wonders. When Clancy was but a child, he longed to bring peace to the beasts of the field. Yep, beasts of the field. That's what he did. Arf! And he was blessed with the ability to speak to them. Why does he not speak to us? He's profoundly stupid. Stupid with wisdom, that is. What? <laughs> he has forgotten how to speak, such is his dedication. What devotion. He is a candidate for sainthood where we come from. It's a very low bar to hurdle. Beatification while... Beatification while he yet lives? Whoever has heard of such a thing? Special circumstance. It's a special circumstance. He's the secret son of, of the king. Arf! So he's being fast-tracked to sainthood. Seriously. Totally hecked up. That is uncon... See, is that? That's not unconceivable. Uncon. Uncon. Maybe it is unconceivable. No. No, I don't know how to pronounce that word. Unconscionable. Whatever. Hey, you don't have to convince me. But listen, it's not his fault. He's just a nice, sweet guy. Who barks at animals? And is thus my archbishop? Sigh. Can we pass now? Your dedication to this one barking holy man in your empire has convinced me that your heart is reven reverent and pure. You may pass. Thank you so much. Allow me. Sweet. Cross onto the holy mountain. I keep talking to you? Well, that went okay. Arf. But what about this person? What about the other things I got? I didn't know I had to choose. Oh. Wait. Yes. I'm truly sorry, but you cannot see the forest god this longest night. Why not? I, uh, we have already come so far for an audience. The truth is, and you must keep this a secret, but, but, the forest god is sick. They are old and dying, and they cannot see you. It might upset them, and we can't risk that. Dying. How can a god be dying? Do not pretend to know the ways of such things. If only you knew what was happening! We god tenders are tasked for, with caring for the forest god. But this, this death, we have never seen its like. Not in the 700 years of records kept since Saint Cecil began tending god. Oh no. Oh no! I mean. We thought when the peace came, all would be well. The peace? Like centuries of conflict with her have weakened them. 
And not long after they became ill. Her? Do you mean the Huncher? Do not say her name here! My heart is broken. My god is dying. I do not know what my life would be without them. I'm sorry, God Tender. There is nothing you can do, Empress. As a representative of the Forest Throne, I say that no power of the Forest God shall bar your way this longest night. As for her, you are at the mercy of the most dangerous creature in the forest. Thank you, God Tender Brown. Go and take a blessing with you. Okay, can, can we go back and... Okay, there's still a maid and there's still a bridge. I wanted to help this person. Is there, is there no place? No place for them? I feel so bad now. Really? Maybe across the bridge? Oh. I guess not. If only I knew why and whether they would be well again. I thank you for leaving your companions with me as they have been great comfort. No problem. I entrust them to your care. Maybe we can figure out why the forest got us sick. I feel so bad I can't help this third person here. Maybe I'll find more snow. More magic snow. For the, uh, random stuff I have. So what the fudge is this huncher lady? Oh, hey. Hello. I'm looking for the huncher. I never found her. And maybe that's a good thing. She's not the forest god. She's not Grand Passage. She is something altogether more... Nihilist? Is that the word? Huh. She's an impulse playing itself out. She isn't the first and she won't be the last. What? Well, I don't know, child. I'm just talking. You'll never find her hollow without something to help you. And I never found out what it was. Thanks anyway. Be careful. You're getting into something here. Anything else? Good luck. So, does this mean we... Oh! Ho 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 ho! to him, but we can talk to you. Talk to you three. Hello. Ho oh, there, traveler. Hello. <clears throat> what is your business here tonight? I'm going to the frozen lake. Not much you. I'm going to the frozen lake. Well, that's a coincidence. So are we. Let's meeting. Do you know the way through the woods? We surely do. We are bound for an audience with the forest god. And after that we have an arm and fire to light it. What the? <laughs> Wait, an arm? What? The arm of a dead criminal. Donated, of course. <laughs> oh, Stevenson. And you're going to set it on fire? Yes! And it will light the way to the Hunter's Hollow. Ugh, this forest. Well, best of luck. Best of luck to everyone. Even you. We have enough luck to go around. 
so this your land? <laughs> I was just saying because you're a king and all. Oh, I may be a king. You may be. But there are kings and there are gods. Yes, yes. Who? Oh. And as a king, I granted these lands to Baroness the Lopsy. And she sure did die. Sure did. The Lopsy's manners gone all weird now. Sure has. Last spring travelers saw this saw it, saw it this pale thing come out of the bog there and Well, let's head out. Miles to go, men, miles to go. Beautiful forest, don't you think? Okay. Okay then. Well, I guess we found a point for that arm that was sticking out. If we keep moving, if we keep moving, are we gonna loop? Ah, there we go. Well, I need an arm. And that's an arm. If I'm lucky, the skeleton is a criminal. Was. This used to be alive. Now I just need a fire to stick it in. Oh god. It's cold. <laughs> oh, hey. Hello, can I interest you in a... Uh, what is that? <laughs> I need to borrow your stove. Wait, what are you doing? Putting this skeleton arm in your stove. Um, no? No, you're not? Shh. It is done. That is messed up. You're telling me. Please leave now. <laughs> story now. Oh, you like the spooky stuff, huh? You know I do. I hate the other stuff. Well, the other stuff is important, too. Hang in there. Okay, I guess. Well, this ain't creepy at all. Okay, ammo. I feel a little safer with my snowballs. Okay. Okay. <laughs> wow, that sounds creepy. Who's that walking on my porch? Hello? <laughs> oh, girl. It's all over now. Um. Um. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hi. There are old bodies in the north. Where the ground never thaws. Frozen in the dirt and ice for millennia. In some of them there is a sickness against which we are no longer strong. Someday the earth will warm and the ice will melt. And that sickness will finish the work on us. That began when we were first born. Kid, will you please stop that honking? Nope. Fine, kid, fine. 
I'm going to leave you where they'll never find you. <laughs> I'm sorry, am I interrupting something? That's... Those are arms. Those are all arms hanging there. And whatever the heck this is. I... It's glowing purple. I don't like it. I think you know the answer. You just showed up. Ugh. We all just show up. Staying is the problem. But you won't have to worry about that. Will you? Is that an extremely vague threat? Her? Vague threats? Oh, I'll get specific with you, kid. I'm going to bury your pieces in a lonely hollow. Not even bury them. I didn't bury the last one. <laughs> and she did chores. Your family will never find you. Oh no, not that. <laughs> is this your normal dynamic? This is the dynamic of everything. No different for her. They didn't even give you a name back at the sawmill, did they, kid? Just kid. Excuse me, the full name is Sawmill Kid. Well, now you're just kid. They didn't name you? You never realize how little and how much you need a name until they refuse you yours. Huh. I'm sorry to keep steering us back to this, but I must reach the frozen lake. When you're out there tonight freezing, will you look for my ring? When something's down in the brambles, I can never see it. I found your ring last week. Oh, so you did. It's my second most prized possession. I keep the most prized in a shrine. So precious it is to me. It's so painful. We have to keep it, keep the precious and painful close. I feel like we're getting off track here. Sniff, sniff. I can smell the forest god's blessing on you. If you knew anything, you'd wash until it came off your skin. When you leave, you're going down into the bramble like all the others. When I have to go outside to fix the weather, because the weather vane got knocked around again. This is a really stupid system you have going there. When I got out to do that, I'll look out in the hollow and nothing will be stirring. And that will be what happened to you. <laughs> Why don't you just kill me now then? Because of that smell. Okay. What are you anyway? I'm an astronomer, former apprentice. Oh, honey. All those stars in your head. They will go out like candles tonight. What are you? The forest god isn't really a god. I'm twice their size. I'm twice as real. Honestly, whoever you are, even you're twice as real as they are. Adina. Adina Astra. 
a ridiculous name. You named yourself. I can tell. Just the last part. Now what make a little girl change her last name? Nothing you'd understand. You don't know a thing about it. I came from somewhere. As did the woman before me. And we found the cabin. And I fed the oven. And we survived. And then I survived. And the quarrel with the forest god went on for centuries. Until it ended. Quite recently. Well. Shut it, kid. I swear if I wasn't physically present in here, she'd talk about anything. <laughs> wow, I really enjoy doing that voice. I rarely get to do creepy voices, but my gosh, that's killer on my throat. Give me a second. I need a drink of my, my Coca-Cola. Okay, let's try this again. Are you a witch? What is a witch? You mean the women in the woods? A man in the woods is a hermit, or a woodsman, or a huntsman. They didn't have a name for woman, women, who weren't where they should be. So they stole a name they feared and hated and pressed it onto us. Onto you. The word they use for girls like me is kidnapped. This one, every day, I swear, won't do chores, back sass, sass mouth. Why not send her back where she came from? That is the one question to which I have no answer. Are you lonely? We're done talking. I'm sorry, Adina Astra. I know he wanted to live. But I've taken that future from you. And it's mine now. And you can't take it back. <laughs> okay. So can we go backwards? I'm thinking not. Nope. Nope. Wait. I have no ammo. This must be rectified. Okay, let's, uh... Um... Can I take the axe? Uh, is there anything under here? Okay. Sparkly snow! Some of that weird snow is way up in the trees. Need a good strong wind. <laughs> Just need to control the wind is all simple. Hmm. She said something about a weather vane. high enough. Yeah! Down you go! Shit. Ugh. I am not gonna die here tonight. I'm just not. Need to see what's in this hollow. 
need to get into that house. Okay, let's go. Here she comes. Damn squirrels won't take a break. Damn north wind, black wind, wolf in the dark. Ah, uh, this weather never behaves. Gotta say the whole damn thing every time. Oh god, I have to get back into that house. Blue fire in the north, I have discovered your sacred name. This is the worst longest night ever. I have buried it deep in the earth. Upon it, I, upon it built a house. You must obey this house. Now blow west. Okay, that's done. Okay. So we need... I wonder... Ooh. Okay. So while she's distracted... Need somewhere to hide. Down here. Accept it. You're freezing in the brambles tonight. Okay, so under the house does not work. She seems distracted by that weather thing. Maybe. Hmm. Okay. She didn't get us when we were off screen, so... To the brambles! Squirrels. North wind, black wind, wolf in the dark. Okay, hurry, hurry, hurry. Uh, this weather never behaves. In. In we go. I say the whole damn thing every time. Okay. Oh, hey, kid. Help. Please help us. I can get you out of here. You can't even get yourself out of here. You can barely get out of the attic. Away from this extremely creepy shrine. It's not safe here for you. Did you know... I made that poison and she never even thanked me. She'll take all the credit for it. What? I know, right? Murdering a god isn't something you want to let someone else take credit for. Oh my god. I thought you were... I'm going to survive. Get away! Holy shit. Oh my gosh. Okay, I want to see if I can get more info out of the kid about this forest god and... Eddie! Distracted. Let's go. Go, 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 go. I wish there was a run button. Oh my gosh. I want to know what the heck you did. Get away if you can. Okay. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. All right, get out of here. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. She's almost done. She's almost done. No. Run, 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 run. <sighs> okay. <sighs> okay. Now to get 
the heck out of here before she figures out what we, what we did. Oh. would go up. Uh, there's another way to rotate this. There we go. You can use the arrow keys to rotate and it's so much easier. Son. What is this? Oh, oh God, no, girl, what have you done? You, you watched it happen. You watched. It was me. It was this place. It was the oven. It was what you became! I... I didn't get to choose what happened to me! I was so cold. I was so afraid. I had to survive! And I did not. What is this? Who are you? Don't you dare speak! You waste of a girl! I was her twin. We fled into the woods, identical in all things, except one. When she pulled my body from the water, the only part of me she kept was the tattoo. Oh my gosh! Holy, holy crap. That's a- That is skin. That is- Oh. I- I've kept it close to me all down the centuries. I believed in some idea of you. That is as long dead as I am now. But you survived. I... I... Oh my god. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for this. Get out. I'm sorry. I never meant to. Get out! Yes, May? What is this story about? What do you want it to be about? If I get to choose what it's about, it's not about anything. Huh. That's quite a statement. I'm really smart. Well, you came up with the plan to rob banks, so clearly you're on to something. I want to know what this is about. I think you have to figure it out on your own. I don't like that. Oh my gosh, that was messed up. That medallion with the eye, that was friggin- That was skin! Ah! Just- Ah! That is so messed up! Oh, hi! <laughs> hey! Hey! 
see you. Still alive, eh? I just saw all the trees give a great shudder. Like they were falling into line. And then you walked up. I think the way is open to the frozen lake. What do you think about that? I think you should wrap up any business you have and head east as quickly as possible. Hmm, what business would I still have? I wouldn't pretend to know. I'm a bit nervous about the frozen lake. You know the story? Not really. Of how the lake was so deep, it went down to the grave. And the dead came to the surface and spoke with the living of how it was so black that it ate the moon's reflection and how the moon, being jealous, convinced the sun to turn its back on the lake. So it would be forever frozen. That is why the dead may be found beneath the ice. For they can no longer leave those waters. Did any of that happen? You're the one going there. You tell me. <laughs> hey, there. Are you okay? I didn't have a chance to ask about you and how you got here. I think I'm gone. I can hardly hear you. Oh. Yes. Thank you so much. You've saved my life, fortune teller. I was a real one, you know. It was real to me. Even if my sister in the walls. Hello? Goodbye. I'm gonna head back, because we learned that thing about the forest god that they were poisoned by... what's her name? The Hunch? Alright, so this takes me out. And now, let's see if we can finish any business we have left in the forest. Where's that totem? Oh, hey! You're a fraud! Why? Oh. <laughs> Still got the hunch's voice in my throat. Why, hello! Nice of you to stop by. There are frozen dead people all over these woods. I've talked to half a dozen of them tonight, alone. Either no one takes you up on your coffin business, or you never follow through. So which is it? Huh? Do you talk to ghosts? Yeah! whole bunch. I think you got lost and cold and started talking to the snow. No, I've been all the way from the forest god's mountain to the hunter's hollow for god's sake. And yet here you are back in my cabin, not more than an hour after you last left. Letting the heat out and the cold in. Busy night for you, eh? Oh, go to hell. <laughs> Hell's warm, at least. Good night. Okay, so we can't go in, so that's one bit of business finished. Um... gone already, Sticky? I'm sorry, Sticky.
she's got it. She's got what? It was a lock and a key. Only one said like him. Yeah? Hello? Thanks, Thiefy. God Tender Brown. Empress, it is so late. Why are you still here? Listen, this is very important. I know why your god is dying. But what? You see, I, I saw... No. You must tell it to them. What? Why? I'm not worthy of hearing of their weakness. I don't deserve the peace I have found here. And I must honor them as best as my frail self will allow. That's really something. Come with me now. Oh, we actually get to... We get to meet the forest god. That's awesome. Oh. This is creepy and awesome and... Oh. Hello? Are you there? You've come late. You are no empress. Centuries have passed since I spoke to one so small and unimportant. It is my right to kill you. I didn't know that. Accept it. Death is happening always. Why should I accept it? It is the natural way. Funny how you decided that was the way that allows you to kill me is the natural one. <sighs> You're not a god. You're just a big animal. They call me a god. Oh, that is awesome. So I'm god enough. Tell me what was so important to say to me that you would give up your life. I know why you're sick. But uh, sickness cannot touch me. You don't have a sickness, but you're dying. Funny, now that it's happening to you, death isn't so easy to accept, huh? It was God Tender Brown who told you I was weak, useless, worthless. I will find use for him. He will feed the forest. The trees will find worth in him. No. God Tender Brown is a good man. He is kind and curious and warm. And even while standing out in the cold for you. <sighs> He thinks he doesn't deserve you, but you don't deserve him. And I'd rather you die knowing what happened to you. I'd rather you die never knowing what happened to you than to have you touch one hair on his head or betray his devotion. Why are we sick? Promise Bran will be safe. I promise on the I promise on the taiga endless. I promise on myself. I promise on the 10 million mile forest. Good. Now swear on what is holy to you. Swear on the stars. Swear on the family you find. I swear on the search. I swear on the stars. If that's what gives you hope, fine. Now speak. The only reason I came here was because of God Tender Brown's sadness and his love for you. But you won't survive, and now I want you to know that. Speak. The hunter poisoned you. Obviously. There was peace after 
Hundreds of years, I know. Why? She's a survivor. It appears you won't be. Then neither shall she. Ugh. You big dumb animal. Goodbye. They're gone. They'll be back. They always are. God tender. Yes, Empress? You're a good man. Thank you. Can only hope to be good. Hope is good. Whatever happens, please don't lose that. I wish you blessings on your journey. You as well. Happy longest night. Happy longest night to you. Oh, that's sweet. I'm getting sleepy, Granddad. We're almost done, May. Okay, good. I like this story a lot. I knew you would. You can rob banks with me anytime. <laughs>
cat. Figured I'd see you here. You figured right. You figured wrong. How's that? I didn't die in there. So you didn't. But then again, I've never died in there either. So pardon me if I'm not overly impressed you did it once. You are such an ass. You certainly caused a lot of trouble tonight. You didn't mean to. Just passing through. Isn't that always the way? So, who are you, really? Pardon? You some magical cat. Cat god. Cat wizard. Something. I'm just a cat. I live near the woods. I like shiny things. And I listen. Oh. Your turn. Who are you? Give me a second, guys. Sorry, needed another drink there. I'm an astronomer. I'm a survivor. I'm an astronomer. I'm here because there's something missing in the sky. And this is where I'll find it. Are you sure? At this point, I'm so exhausted and cold that I can't afford to not be sure. That's either very sad or very beautiful. It's very true. I'm freezing. Put her... I need to get going. The hunter, her child, the forest god, those aren't your business. I know. Leave all that here. You were in their forest. I'm an astronomer. It may be their forest, but it's under my sky. <laughs> well, I bet that sounded great in your head. It sounded great when I said it, ass cat. Goodbye, Adina the astronomer. Good luck. Goodbye, cat. Happy longest night. Okay, here we are. I don't like this one bit. Okay. You know, I doubted you would make it. A promise is a promise. I was home. Same as ever. Colder now, of course. The sheep shut down the 5th Street Bridge again on Longest Night. <laughs> the farmers were there all day trying to pull them off. Have they figured out why they keep doing that? No one has a clue. Hmm. I'm not moving this, by the way. I know you can't stay long. I can't. So ask. Okay. Did you find the ghost star? I did. My first night dead. It's there. Oh. Oh my god. Something like that. Will you remember where that is? Yes. It's funny. What is? It's always been there. I just had no way of seeing it. I still can't. Not really. But you can chart where it is. That's something, at least. Wow. I feel like just a few feet away. There's this thing bigger than I can think about. Burning away. Exploding. And between us is a sheet of black. 
And when I think about it, I feel like I'm going to overflow. I think about this a lot these days. We devote ourselves to something we barely understand. Something we can never touch. We give it a name. Give ourselves a name for doing so. All of it creates this connection. And that connection that becomes the thing we can touch. You appreciate those connections even more after you've died. I'm gonna miss you all over again now. On the bright side, you got a star out of it. That's something at least. <laughs> Pretty amazing to be something, at least. Yeah. Goodbye, astronomer. Goodbye, astronomer. The end. What constellation was it? No one knows. It's lost to history. Did this really happen? Does it matter if it really happened? I think it does. Well, we'll never know. But hearing it happen to you... And that's something. Something, something, something. I want to find that constellation. Go outside some night and find it. And tell me where it is, okay? Yawn. You look tuckered out, kid. I am. I'll leave you to it. Sweet dreams, kiddo. Awesome. Oh my gosh, that was so good. That was so good. I I love the mechanics with the snowman and the puzzles and I love the characters. And I can see how so much of this oh <laughs> My snowmen's and women's. Uh, I can see how a lot of this relates to Night in the Woods. I kind of want to play it a second time just to see what the other items, what souls are connected to the other items. I really enjoyed this. Looks like that's the end of the credits. So, happy holidays, everyone, and a happy new year. And, well, if you're still watching, like, subscribe, donate on uh, coffee, all that jazz, and happy longest night. Bye, guys.